Hey guys, Mike here. Today we're going to take a look at the bumper case for the iPhone 4. This comes from Apple. Uh, the description on this says it's made of durable rubber and molded plastic. The two-tone iPhone 4 bumper uh, fits snugly around the edge of your iPhone and gives it a splash of color. And it is available in multiple colors and it retails for $29. So here is the case right here. A couple things I want to note before we get the phone in. Uh, this is a hard plastic, you know, kind of shell right here. And then there's a rubber uh, along the edges, and that's what keeps the phone inside the case. Kind of reminds me of the spec candy shell a little bit in that as aspect, you know, kind of the rubbery interior with the hard plastic exoskeleton kind of thing. Um, just generally my first impression on it when I got it, it was a little bit lighter weight than I was expecting. You, know, you can see just when you move it, you know, like this, it's not, uh, you know, super heavy duty or anything like that. This will basically just give some minimal protection, maybe a little bit of grip protection on it. So let's get the iPhone in. We'll show you some of the other features. Uh, it's pretty easy install. We'll just put the buttons in first, like so, and just basically stretch it around on the case. Now, a couple things here when I'm installing it, like right here, if you could tell, you know, I didn't, the rubber is just not in perfectly. So just kind of massage it around a little bit and just get the rubber to go fully around um, the glass of the iPhone 4. So there you go. Uh, let's do a quick little run through of all the ports. So down here in the bottom, we have uh, cutouts for both the main speaker and main microphone. And then here is the cutout for the 30 pin cable. Just want to mention that this is a little small. Um, if the iPhone 4 cable fits fine, also the iPad cable fits fine, but some of the older Apple cables do not. Also, some of the third-party cables don't seem to work either. So just want to mention that it is pretty small. A couple buttons here for the volume. These are metal buttons. A nice touch of that. Uh, here's the cutout for uh, the silent switch. Um, this is pretty recessed. You have to kind of get in there with your nail to get at it. Uh, the cutout for um, for the headset jack. Um, this worked pretty fine. I didn't have any problems with that. And the top microphone there. And then you have another metal button here for the power. So the rest of the case here, the back is exposed, but it does have a little lip. So when you put it on the table and you moving it around should help uh, give it some scratch protection. Same thing for the front. Uh, but generally, overall, the band is uh, good for protecting um, the metal of the case so that, um, you know, from scratches and scuffs. Um, it does help with the signal issue a little bit. You know, if you want to hold it in your left hand or however you want to, you know, normally hold it, uh, you know, it does help with the signal issue some. Um, but generally, overall, it just kind of gives a good protection around the side. It does give a little bit of a grip protection. The plastic can be a little slick, but um, right here on the edge with the rubber, it does give a little bit of a grip. So there you go, guys. A quick look here at the bumper case from Apple. Um, overall, uh, not too bad of a case. I was expecting maybe something a little more robust. Um, you can see maybe right here, you know, it's a little stretchy. It's a little flimsy kind of feeling. Um, but overall, it does give some protection to the side. It does help with the signal issue. The back is exposed, unfortunately. Um, and it does give some different st styling. So if you want some different colors on your phone, you know, you have that option too. So once again, this is the bumper case from Apple. All right, guys, this is Mike from Santa Gray Mac. Thanks for watching.